For today's art activity, I'm going to start by drawing a large rectangle on my paper. It should be almost as big as my paper. I'm going to start, but I'm going to stop before I get to the edge of the paper. Don't let the rectangle touch the edge of the paper. Go all the way around and leave some space at the top for where your head is going to go. Now, my blanket on my bed needs a pattern. I'm going to use some straight lines that are vertical and some straight lines that are horizontal. Those are just fancy words for up and down and side to side to decorate my bed. Now I'm going to draw a large semicircle for the shape of my head. It looks like an upside down letter U. Then I want to make two smaller letter U's for my eyes that are sleeping. A little half triangle in a line for my nose and my mouth. I can even add some eyelashes on my picture. Over on the side, I'm going to write the letter Z a couple times. When we have Z's coming out of us, that means we are sleeping. And I'm going to give myself some curly hair coming off the top of my head. That looks wonderful. I can add more details if I want. I am now going to color my picture. Everything needs to be colored in. I'm going to color carefully and neatly, color side to side, making sure you don't leave any spots white. Our coloring should be nice and smooth and solid. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to color all the different parts of my bed. I'm also going to color the floor around my bed and I'm also going to color my face. So color everything on your paper. Once you are done coloring yourself sleeping, we are going to get a second piece of paper and draw a large squiggle line for our monster. My wavy line is going to be almost as big as my paper. Now if you make arms and hair sticking out the outside of your monster, it's going to be really, really hard to cut those out with scissors. So I highly recommend all the details that you add are drawn inside of your monster. We have to cut this out with scissors, so keep all those details inside of the monster. Anything sticking off the monster's body is going to be really, really, really hard to cut out with scissors. I'm going to add a mouth, a nose. I gave my monster three eyeballs and some polka dots around his head. There, maybe he's missing a tooth. And now I'm going to use a zigzag line. We've done straight lines, curvy lines, and now zigzag lines for the monster's outfit. That's looking pretty good. I got all my lines nice and drawn, and now I am ready to color my monster. Your monster can be any combination of colors you want. The only thing is you want to make sure you're coloring smooth and solid and nice and neat, not leaving any spots white. Take the time to make sure you color in all the details. Don't forget about the tongue if you drew one. Now my work of art is finished. I am going to save my monster. I'm going to make sure I put both of these pieces together. Remember we used straight lines today, curvy lines, and zigzag lines for drawing ourselves sleeping in the monster for under our bed.